Toy Story 4, who can honestly say that they asked for this? Toy Story 3 was the perfect ending to the trilogy, so how can they really top that off? And those were my exact thoughts going into Toy Story 4, which in all fairness, I thought was simply going to be a money grab, and well, I was wrong. Story-wise, it's tight. Toy Story 4 picks up sometime after 3, Bonnie has now graduated from preschool and is starting kindergarten. There she makes her own toy called Forky, which is a kid-crafted toy from a spork. The thing with Forky is that he can't understand his purpose and is constantly keeps thinking that he's garbage and not a toy. And that's where Woody comes in, as it's his job to keep Forky around and make him realize how important he is because Bonnie made him and in the end, Woody only wants Bonnie to be happy. Bonnie's family and the toys then go on a road trip, which sees Forky attempt to get away and Woody chase after him. And this separates the two from the rest of the toys. The rest of the movie is Woody trying to get Forky back to Bonnie, or at least that's the first act. As of going into spoilers, things change quite a bit later on, but yeah, essentially getting Forky back to Bonnie is still the mission at the story's core. One important thing that I can say for the story is that below the surface of it all, this is Woody's story. He goes through a lot here, and the majority of the movie focuses on his own path to coming to terms of existence and his role in life. It's surprisingly deep, and all done for a good reason. Voice acting is superb here, the Pixar gold standard, even Forky sounds great. The CGI is also phenomenal and the best yet in the Toy Story series. The actual locations and backdrop look incredibly realistic, and the use of bright vibrant colors and contrasting darks depending on the locations is excellent. As for characters, Toy Story 3 introduces some new interesting and fun toys into the mix. They're each different and get their fair share of attention. Key and Peele's characters were fun, and Keanu Reeves' Duke Kaboom steals every scene he's in. But the biggest star for me in this one was the return of Bo Peep. The movie does a great job in explaining her absence, and she certainly grows as a character because of what she had to go through. She's no longer a side character that we know from the past movies, but plays a major role now, and she does it well. I mean, I wasn't expecting it, but without a doubt, she's one of my favorites here. Now, a big part of the Toy Story series is the emotional reaction particular scenes can give you, and that was something I was skeptical of Toy Story 4. Considering back when I first saw Toy Story 3, I remember actually crying in the movie theater. I mean, it wasn't waterworks or anything like that, but I saw it with my three other friends, and we all cried, I know that. But at the same time, we all tried to act tough and did not show it, even though we all knew what was going on. As for Toy Story 4, things were smooth sailing for most of the movie, at least until the very end, where the emotion starts slow and then hits you hard. It's a bittersweet ending, and not something everyone will be happy with, but it makes sense. Now, is it more emotional than Toy Story 3 was? Eh, probably not, but it's definitely in the top two in the series for me. What might surprise quite a bit of people is that this is a dark film under its fun and happy surface, as it's filled with tragic characters on both the protagonist and antagonist side. The whole creation of Forky is also an interesting one as it focuses a lot on existentialism and what it truly means to be a toy and whether a toy's only purpose in life is to be played by a kid, or whether there's something even more than that. Now, don't get me wrong, there's plenty of comedy here still, as I think this one may be one of the funniest entries in the series. But when there is a dark or serious moment, then you get fully locked in that. Overall, Toy Story 4 is excellent and one of the best movies of the year. Was it needed? No, the last one gave you closure already. But this one gives you even more closure than you thought you had even needed. It had a very good story to tell, and I can admit now that Toy Story 4 fully deserved to be made in order to tell it. And in a summer full of meh movies, then something like this is absolute gold. But that's just my take on Toy Story 4. Hopefully you found it enjoyable and informative. And if you saw the movie, do let me know in the comments down below if you liked it, hated it, or were somewhere in between. As I'm always interested to hear what you all have to say. As always, I'll see you guys on the next one.